Oh, hey vlog number eight. What do we have in our hands right now? I'm either the intern or really good boss, number one. And number two is we're gonna have a little character development. Bought some microphones, upgraded the shooting just for you guys. I'm mic'd up when we interview owners, when we have Adam, when we have anyone in a meeting, anyone at any time. They're gonna be mic'd up so the audio is gonna be better. This is all for you guys. I can't wait to get a new camera. Let's go upstairs. Let's start making some phone calls. Welcome to vlog number eight. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you for all the comments. about how we have already proven that it works. Go in that it's working right now. Yeah, like yeah. how Sir Hansen, how what's it, Brian Chan who you started with? Yeah, about? yeah. I think he went into a pitch and pitch townhouse, but he, you said he got the listing because of social media. Yeah. Like that's his, Sir Hansen's biggest thing, right? It's yeah. His social media following. That's literally what I want to get to, is like you have my brand, and yeah. then you have our brand, which is Adam BPI. So you have literally two brands working with you. You have the personal, because the, the problem that people are going into right now is that they're saying they have, say, Halstead or Corcoran. They're like, great, that's your company and that's who you're working for. If we have both, we say we have a brand. I like that idea. Instead of saying we're building a brand, we have a brand right now. I have a brand, and then we also have a brand around the property tour. I think two things people like, the BPI and then uh, you know, the fun, entertaining, engaging things, like what, what's entertaining? Uh, Charles talking to cars because they beep. But there's people that actually message me and say, love the hustle with the phone calls. Yes. And the second thing is, I like those little things that you say during the day, which is, um, you know, writing a personal note or following up or being persistent. Those are the personal messages I get, but the public ones are like, oh, that's funny that, so it's, I think those are the, the entertainment, but also the value of the rant, because you'll have two audiences. This is like anything, Any like in a month, we're gonna have a different conversation. It's just getting better, that's it. Like you brought up the brand, think of that. You brought up the brand, I didn't even think of that. Then And then Adam brought up like, okay, instead of saying building the brand, we'll say it is a brand. So it's like those ideas, Nothing yeah. is bad. Yeah. So that was that was like always in the underlying of my mind is like, how do we get influencers involved so they can share it with their audience, gives attention to ours. All right, going to the Upper West Side right now, dropping off a letter. I won't show the address for the person that I actually met with yesterday. Always a good idea. The handwritten card after you. Thank you. You're welcome. And then obviously never too busy for any of your referrals. And then Assam was uh, CRM Yes, yeah, CRM. Yep. He was the one that got us the 360 camera. So thank you. Look at her. That's her thing. I know. Who are we listening to right now? The best. Oh, nice. I like it. Nice and healthy. Yeah. For Halloween. Yeah. That means it's healthy. I gotta try it. Save. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Save some for me morning was really good because what we talked about was how are we going to brand this when we we're actually talking about buyers we're talking to sellers because right now we're doing the vlog we're doing the property tours but what is, what's the advantage to them so now we're doing the bullet points I was talking to Jojo behind the camera I was talking to Adam and we really synthesized how we're going to express this to owners in the future when we do a presentation and it's 3.5 million and the person doesn't really believe in social media or video or things like that what are we going to tell them how are we going to convince them so today was really really good we made the calls and then we talked about we're going to the Upper West Side. We're meeting with a guy. He's selling his place, but he lives in Miami. And the thing is, you can't really sell it when you're in Miami. He's, he's a for sale by owner. That's like my jam. This is the importance of actually getting off at the right station. We have to go all the way down there. It's going to be really close. A shout out to my clients, Jamie and Ben. It's their wedding anniversary. I get a, a trigger from our CRM. I know Asham from the uh, mailroom is really going to like that. Our CRM customer relationship manager uh, sends us an email anytime. It's a closing anniversary, wedding anniversary, child's birthday, their regular birthday, whatever. So shout out, happy wedding anniversary to Jamie and Ben. So we're going to be going live next week on Facebook and YouTube and doing some uh, live shows. And the first thing we're going to be talking about, I actually heard it yesterday, it was actually really good, is that athletes are becoming businessmen and businessmen are becoming athletes. In other words, you can't just be a businessman now. You have to eat well, you have to sleep well, you have to do it right because otherwise you don't have sustained energy. You get tired too quickly and someone else is going to pass you. And it's the same thing as athletes is that 
If you're a LeBron or you're someone that's actually an elite athlete and you don't have something on the side, like Tom Brady just has a best-selling book that came out. LeBron has so many businesses. Michael Jordan is a billionaire. If you're not a businessman as an athlete and leveraging your brand, you're nothing. And if you're a businessman, but you're out of shape or whatever the case is, you're not gonna last. Someone else is gonna pass you. As I'm saying that winded. <laughs> All right, so we're here with uh, Stuart. We're on the Upper West Side. He's gonna be touring us around his pied terre that's gonna be coming on. The building is gorgeous. It has a tremendous amount of amenities. We're gonna show that afterwards, probably as pictures instead of video, because we're not gonna be taking video. Stuart, if you wanna take over and show us around what you did, it was totally gut renovated from the beginning to the end. Show us around. Completely renovated the entire apartment uh, about two years ago. We've been using it as a pied terre during the past two years not more than two or three months in the course of each of those two years. The kitchen was completely redone. Uh, new appliances, new cabinets, not just facades, but they're entirely new cabinets. Put in the stone countertops, and we use the same countertops for all the window sills throughout uh, each, of the, wow. uh, each of the rooms. What kind of flooring is this? This it's, is uh, like, engineered. Uh, it wood is, wood. yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it looks like if you get a stain on it, it probably not many scratches. It's definitely a harder wood to actually do anything to, which is good, so it yeah. lasts longer. This is a nice feature. Uh, Going through, yeah. That's expensive, probably doing that, you know, the cabinetry. What did you like most about the area? Outside the doors, everything. I know, the Upper West Side has really just turned this around. The, uh, the subway station is right here in the building. It's on the corner of oh, the yeah. street. You just walk, you walk outside and it's <laughs> raining. If it wasn't, we would have been late. Yeah. <laughs> So we completely renovated the, the bathroom. What is interesting about the 11th floor is that it's instant on hot water, and the water pressure is unbelievable. Very important, by the way. It, it really is. It is, it makes yeah. a big difference. And I've lived in places yeah. where it's just trickling out, no, and it's, it's like full force. Yeah. It's instant on hot. The other thing that's kind of interesting is that uh, the elevators default to 11 and the lobby. So when they're not in use, you know, they're, one is on 11. Because they want to go halfway or something. Right, so yeah. normally, since we're on the 11th floor, when you go to the elevator, nine times out of 10, it's, it's right there. there, there's no waiting. Yeah. There are two uh, laundry rooms on each floor. We uh, passed it, yeah. And, uh, and then on the third floor, there's a, a larger uh, laundry room with multiple uh, machines. So let me ask you a question. Did you know that in the water pressure when you bought in? No, I didn't know anything about that. So those are like added yeah, bonuses yeah. that you got, yeah. I think those are big selling points, especially the, the water pressure. We built out custom closets, and then in the bedroom, there's a walk-in closet. Wow. And it's funny too, we were at an apartment uh, yesterday and, and they said walk-in closet. It wasn't really a walk-in closet. Uh, this walk -in is closet. a real walk-in closet. Was this already built out or did you yeah, push yeah, this we, we built the from the... But no, it was here. And so here is the uh, bedroom. That's the one bedroom. Uh, obviously this building, it's all about the amenities. It's all about the area, the convenience of the subway. You can't say enough about the 70s and the 80s, especially when it's central on the Upper West Side. It's an amazing area. It's great for convenience, but it's also great for nightlife and going out. We're gonna hop off from here. We'll check out the amenities. If you're interested, obviously hit us up, charles at botanston.com. really good. Stuart is a great guy and the building is amazing. It's it's funny like you really jive with someone and you just you just you want to help them out and you want to do it right. And this is one of those places I believe in the building, I believe in the area, I believe in the owner, I believe in the price. It's definitely going to sell. And obviously the power of the video is incredible. So if you are interested in a one bedroom condo upper west side, then just under a million give us a call, charles at botanston.com. When people see a camera, this is their immediate reaction. You know, this is vlog number eight. This is exactly what happens. So number one is they look at the camera, then they go like this, 
then they look at me, and then they go even deeper in their furred eyebrow, and then they always say, in their mind, do I recognize this guy? Do I know him from a show? Do I know him from a movie? And then when they don't recognize me, they're so confused. They're like, this guy's like walking around with a cameraman, and we don't recognize either of these people. Wait, all those people, you wait two years, and then you'll start recognizing us. Obviously, I have to bring it up. Big news in the real estate world is that the New York Times and Rebney, Real Estate Board of New York, just came together, and all of our listings are now gonna go on the New York Times, newyorktimes.com, and the reason they're gonna go on the newyorktimes.com is because you have Street Easy, and Street Easy was bought out by Trulia and Zillow probably about two or three years ago for $50 million, which was a complete steal. It was like when Instagram got bought by Facebook for a billion, everyone's like, that's crazy. But now look at Instagram. Do you think it would go for a billion dollars? It would go for more. So the reason that the Real Estate Board of New York is now putting their listings on New York Times is because this is what's gonna happen, is that the Real Estate Board of New York hasn't been improving at all. The New York Times hasn't been improving at all. Street Easy has, everyone's using Street Easy. So it's like, that's their, their only outlet right now is to be relevant. You know, everyone, even brokers are gonna be using Street Easy because they're, they're gonna come out with a CRM, they're gonna come out with a listing system, they're already charging for rentals. And that's what I've been saying is that if you're not building your audience, either through video, through social media, through a newsletter, then you're screwed. Let's go downtown, gonna do some Popeyes. When do you think I'm gonna reach my step goal? Right after these stairs, if this thing vibrates. Highly recommend anyone to get any of these watches for two reasons. One is you can actually, if you actually track it, it's good, but they actually have something that says if you have one of these on, you're more conscious to take the stairs over an elevator and to eat healthier. So highly recommend getting at least a fitness watch, Fitbit, Apple. This is very expensive because this is Garmin and I use it for biking. All right, so two things. Uh, number one is always give us your feedback, what you like, what you don't like. We were talking about it this morning. We're probably gonna be doing a lot of entertainment along with my brand, which is obviously BPI and speaking and whatever. We're about to go to Whole Foods, see how long that takes until they tell us to stop filming. And we're gonna do Popeyes. So Popeyes is obviously a seasonal thing that we Popeye our client. We're gonna give them a pumpkin with a little tag on it. They always like it. Sometimes it's candy, sometimes it's you know something corny, but it's always just being in front of our camera. And the last thing is we wanna work by referral, 80% of our business. So that's why we're doing it as I'm getting winded. So if you want your Popeye, you gotta become a client of BPI. It's always fun to actually work with a client over the years, you know, being in it over eight years, I've seen people get married. The clients, they have babies or multiple babies or they move outside the city, that's always fun. And being part of their transition from the city to the urban or to the suburb life or family life or whatnot, it's rewarding for me. That's why I love what I do. We'll see how long until they say stop filming. Hi, excuse me? Just had a quick question. Pumpkins, yeah, where would those um, be? Um, I have to go, how many do you want? Uh, you 39, no, I'm joking. Uh, oh, about right. six or seven. Do it Support local. Um, we have this size. The small ones that we have are like painted already. We don't have Are they? Ones. What are they painted? They have like happy faces and stuff. All right, but do I we see think, those? Yeah. What's, sure. How much are those? I don't know, they're a little, they're a little bruised. Kind of picky my, yeah, my, yeah, well, my clients are worth it. They're worth some nice pumpkins. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. Man, they really did take the nice ones. Are you guys worth $4 a pumpkin? I'm like, oh my God. You want me to do this? What's the, what, what is this? A pumpkin. This is a pumpkin? Yes. This thing is, think I could balance it? Oh! One, <laughs> yeah, if I balance it, do I get it for free? Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's so. that's a that's a wacky looking one. I didn't even know those exist. There's some more wacky ones up here. This is what I'm talking about right here. I I need like a lot of these. Like my help, you could write a rate and rate. About I am gonna write it. Yeah, Jojo, which one do you like? I like the one you're holding. Yeah, that's that's by far. That has to go to the top client. <laughs> They're all top clients. Yeah. Thank you. Wonderful experience from A to Z. Is that corny that I said that? We'll say Eve and Dion. There you go. This is like me. This is like me and the family. The perfect child. You know what? I'm kidding. I seem like you were the perfect child, man. <laughs> I was not. I, I was not the perfect child growing up. Yeah. I was far from it. All right, so we'll take these six. These six right here? Yeah. Be sure to come back. Oh, I will. Just to visit you. Look at that. 
didn't know if we were actually going to be able to film. Ended up just going through probably one of the best experiences. Got all these pumpkins for you guys. I think I actually bought them out. They don't have any more. What I'm going to do with these pumpkins is put together a little tag. It's a little corny tag, but it attaches to the pumpkin and essentially drop them off tomorrow with my mom, which is actually the concierge. So I'm gonna leave you guys here. Uh, Jojo has a lot of editing to do. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys are in 41st and Broadway or 41st and 6th, hit me up. Vlog number eight, already in the books. Crazy, we're gonna soon hit double digits. Leave your feedback, all of your comments, share. I love you guys, really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week when we have vlog number nine. Talk to you guys soon.